Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and here is part three where we of course booted the machine on the USB thumb drive in my case but whatever you have used to actually as a boot device. Uh, here you will choose the language to install and you've got um, depending on the image that you downloaded because on the image you will have languages so you'll have to choose the language you'll have to choose your currency type so in my case it uh, will be English but I will actually choose in the currency type uh, that I want to have Canada and the keyboard input method which in my case I will actually use um, Canadian uh, multilingual is the one that I use on my PC. Be careful that what you choose here because it has an impact on the keyboard layout and on what it looks like, the time, the currency, the way that uh, some of the basics of Windows is actually set up. The good news, if you don't know what to choose here and you chose the wrong thing, doesn't matter. You can actually go back eventually and fix it. And here you'll click the next button and you'll click install now and here you go and you see my beautiful face right there <laughs> so um, you choose the install now button and this will start the process of install depending on the speed of the computer you're using it could be more or less uh, lengthy in the process but here you have setup is starting which is the first and uh, kind of you know place where you will actually choose what you want to do. Here it's going to ask you activate Windows and enter a product key. So you have two choices here. Maybe you do have a product key. If you do, what you'll do is put the product key here. Maybe you're actually using these videos to upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 10 for free. It still works with the product key. Enter your Windows 7 product key here to actually activate Windows and upgrade for free. And last but not least, if you're like me, this machine does not have a product key. It's a digital activation that actually happened when I upgraded for free in 2015. So that means this computer, I don't need to enter a product key. So I'll go to the bottom right and I'll say, I don't have a product key here. And that's what you're gonna click. Here you gotta choose your Windows version, the one you need to install and it's important to choose the correct one because your activation depends on the proper version that you'll choose. On this machine, it was Windows 10 Pro, so I will choose that. Uh, what is N? The N version is a single language version. If that's what you have, you need to stay there. You got home, you gotta stay there. Don't try to fool and choosing a different version than you had, it won't activate once it's over and you'll have to restart the process and choose the correct version again. So be careful what you do here and click next. Then you will come to a page that will offer you other choices and you will of course accept the terms of license and agreement because you won't be able to install if you don't. Now I will choose a custom install. Why? Because I'll be able to remove the partitions and uh, do all of uh, what I want. So here, I got a partition I don't want to touch. Be careful if you have multiple disks and multiple partitions to delete the proper partition. So what I do here, I, I choose the partition I want to use, which is this one. I will delete this partition, click OK. I will then delete this one at the top also because this is a reserve partition for Windows 7. It will recreate that reserve partition by itself once you reallocate everything. Uh, a lot of people will sometimes say, oh, I clicked on one and it says it can't. Be careful not to choose a um, USB thumb drive or to choose a memory card reader or it depends on your computer. You need to choose a proper drive and you need to, of course, delete the partitions. Now here, this other 22.5 gigabytes, I will actually not touch this. I will simply 
click the unallocated space, create a new drive. Here you got the choice. You can actually set the size of the drive if you want to have a drive that maybe you'll actually set up in a different manner uh, with partitions. You might want to reduce its size right here or else you just apply what it wants you to apply. And here we go. It says, you sure? Because this is going to create partition and file system. Delete everything. You click OK if you're all right with it. And you will see the uh, space now system reserved will move and you should see something like 579 580 something like that a system reserved you should see a primary partition now okay format it click okay some of you will tell me well you don't have to format it because if you click next it will do it yeah but in some machines for some reason sometimes it creates problems so just format it and at the same time you'll know if your drive is healthy because it's gonna format okay once that is done click next and here you go you get to this process copying Windows files so here you got nothing to do except wait for all of this to finish up and ask you other questions and of course that will be part four where we'll continue with the rest of the install enjoy your videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching